messing around. Looks like the idea was a direct push straight into mid. You can see the fault line and the paranoia was ripped its way across right at the beginning of the first kill, first casualty. Artist falling on the jet. Now a refight being taken. Listen, not without his confidence. Crew eager to try and take some fights once more. I don't know how Kesner's still alive in the middle of all of this. What? Looking a bit less likely, maybe a bit less doable. Dark gonna be tagging them up. Wide swing just through the box. That the C side of the map is still quite weak. Nags it. Surely you don't make a play here. There's so many footsteps you can hear. All of them running all the way through. There was a stun to take a fight, but one for one. It's going to be the end outcome. Still anchoring towards the back. That's Melzer staying alive, and he's got the back of the rest of his team. Flash pushed them all the way through. Aftershock as well. Fight to be taken, but Crashies wins it. He's got that consistency. Yet crew have swarmed in a position noted. Got to be able to maintain that form, though, when you're playing against top caliber opponents. Artis in the sight. All the utility in the world to set him up. Nice little two piece. Guns exchange on top of it. This looks like a flood attempt. Uh, crew really trying to fight this one with a rolling thunder, but it's used. Matched. An ult for an ult. Cosmic Divide now going to be pushing them even further back and still into this post plant. Nags. An important fight to be taken here into A lobby while the rest of his team is making a good go of it. That's Kesnit, I believe, a double up driver the knives over the top of the wall. Nobody was anticipating it with finesse falling, dashing right through. Flash as well, blind. Some couldn't see a thing over the top. Crew. An important battle on the flank. It's Crashies who needs to hold it down. The double face. Kesnit, there's no one else following up. He takes out the first and Crashies expects it. Aftershock. Klaus pushed. It should have been an unfortunate fight for him, an awkward one at that. The Hunter's Fury, this is an awkward position to be taking that one and firing it off. He has to cancel it after three because he thinks he's being pushed, but it's all over the place right now. Davies starting to defuse, already half on the board, and he's sticking it all the way through. Where is the position of NRG to get off of it? So Victor, he denies it. Klaus, still alive, still getting the kill. That's a bit of whiffage. Round the side, Shorty in his hands. Victor. Lands a shot, lands a kill, 4-4. Four, four. In in the... They're aware of it because they know that it was a hole in their defensive setup. But how aware are they? And his timing. Oh, Victor. Oh, perfect. He's good for it. 30 seconds now he needs left. to do the damage. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Not like that. I mean, well, gets away scot-free. No one watching the body. Not having the necessary protocols in place if you are crew. Got to expect that still. It's a four on four. Anything could happen in this moment. It comes down to those individuality. Individual shots being landed. Some slide off angle, wins his duels and more. But it's just helping him out and okay. There's a refight over this one. There's a drone to clear through. Tagged up. Paranoia didn't even hit there. Still Melzer wins a fight. Out rolling thunder. It's an attempt to fight all the way through, but a lockdown. It's not dealt with. Get out of my way. And if Melzer didn't go down there, he would have been detained oh. right around the side. Artist just flexing. Do they the raw about, mechanics. Do they know about Nags? Most of the corner here. Have One to anticipate it. Remaining. There was a gap in the lockdown, and they're going to know now. Able? That kill found some quick. No issues on Haven doing that. Let's have a look at the C split and how they're going to defend this. Are they ready to contain this? That's going to be the question on my mind. Already bursting through. There's a little bit delayed. There was a flash there, though. I did push them towards the back, but some still alive and kicking. He needs a bit of relief, though. He needs some help from the rest of his team. Deep flash, aftershock. A bit late with it. Mel's has taken an individual fight. There wasn't really much of an attempt of a swing, and there wasn't really much help because there the help is on are. the flank, and crew are making plays in their own. They're just barreling all the way through. Why not? Each and every one of them holding yeah. hands, trying to take the fight. Finesse was seeing if he could pick them apart. EVs. Uh, the frenzy has no problems against weak opponents either. Try to dealt with. There's one shot to the body. All it took, as you mentioned. I know one player now close to default, and they don't want to swing out wide, but time is starting to run low. Dropping down Davies and good trading. Similar tiny angle. Looks like we've entered that attack round, and suddenly the advantage has switched around. Victor close! Because it was lost in the moment. This way, that way, head on a swivel. And some still at the back of the site. Flashed up, though. That was a good swing timing from that exit. Just got to get this spike down and planted though to get into the post farm because Finesse is actually creeping up behind them. A flank timing could spike be quite important. Planted. Turret's not watching it. Out in the open though. This is the initial shot here, but stun pushes them all the way back again and clearing that space through with the utility. 
crew adapt. They adjust. Players taking back standing. side control. Crash is taken care of. They know where Finesse is now. Last one there. Standing for them. And slight jiggle of the movement with the turret to cover. Have a spot Dave. here to win the round. And there's that pronged approach as well. You can start to look at potentially just coalescing on these players that are starting to swarm on to see. And here it comes. There's the timing! Lays it down as the bullets rain onto them. The crew players grouped up, none the wiser. Left down to nags it. So much to do in that 1v4. Not on our farthest. Getting the confidence back with that kill, maybe. But Rashis is going to find it. Yeah, there's no help in sight. Everybody playing up onto the side. So, drone now. Pushing forwards. Dart still available as well. Tagging up the players. Do they want to take the fight? They do. And actually starting to move forwards. Lighting up the players. Crashies is just making a mockery of this, isn't he? All the util getting so much value. And the Cosmic Divide splits up the side for the defuse. It's up to Heroics. Kesnik can't get away with it this time. As he had his opportunity. And they've left Crashies forwards here. No one's going to clear in this. Dart up! I mean, Kenson's just dashing forward. There was no smoke to hide his presence there, so he is dealt with, but it's an instant trade. Pushing forwards into the site. Short sure, has to be cleared out, and NRG, did they decide to flood in? The answer is yes, certainly. Dropping all the way down from the high ground position. Flutter all the way through, and this could be it. Hook, line, sinker. Nags is the last one standing. It's a 1v2. Maybe he's made this a bit more winnable. Can he drag it? Can he find the isolated fights? A wider swing, a wider peak. He knows where one of them is, but he does not know that close corner is where Som is lurking for, and the timing is just that. Defending 13 to 10, and actually eventually close it out. So Haven goes their way. Now this is going to be a smoke. Splitting apart the side here. Lovely paranoia as well. It's going to be delaying this one. Crew not. Feeling like they need to slow this one down. Dash still going to be dissipating there. Still Kesnik claiming that kill. And Som has traded out into hell. What's going to be the response here of NRG? Finesse wants to take an early fight. Team setting him up. Crash has got these shock darts. And who knows where that was coming from. But it lands the kill anyway. Three on three. Through the smoke. Oh, Nags is okay. Spotted. I mean, half, full half of his body is showcasing there. Yeah. And, and Finesse is going for the... Clearing all the way through. One player spotted. Deep into the smoke, they need to play around this one, but crew being swamped. Convergence from every single angle, every single side. The back door Melter survives, and well, not anticipating it. Crashes from behind. Them to fall short often when they are playing. There's a heavy reliance on Kesnit to get the opening kills and whatnot still. Okay. That's a fight taken. Yeah, that's it's, really uh, heavy. I mean, that, ready, that's yeah. a paranoia and a push. We saw... I don't know if this gets cleared. It looks like it. Wide swing by Klaus. Yeah, and I mean, if it wasn't spotted, the knife would have taken out. Dart actually uh, a bit missed there from Klaus. Doesn't land into the back of CT to clear that one out and give them that peace of mind. Som now, high ground angle. And his post plant set up by left. crew still. One enemy remaining. Left now down to that 1v4. Crashies, no choice. But... The top side of mid, realizing that it's open here. Nay dropped down and actually. Bangs against the wall, I believe. I'm not too sure. Has it disjointed him? It seems likely. It's just at the side of lane. All that util expended. Knife now pushing him away as well. Crew still not into this site. It's down to the two anchoring players. Finesse. At this angle! Oh my goodness! Down. Have the foresight to try and use some util to clear it. They just smoke it. And wow! I mean, purely left. off of it. Just timings to being taken. Players at the back game. of his mind, he just knows the right shots to take. And it's all... Contained, flawless, all the way down, Kesnit. Let's use the dash now to try and get into the site, but this is run. getting a bit precarious. There's no nuance, it's brute force. Yeah, damage being done to them. Crew still winning it out though, fight's taken with the lockdown crashes. He might just be going down with a ship, indeed. And if Not they find good. the right angle, the right sight line. Could turn on its head just like that. Ardis, operator watch for here. Slight jiggle and there you go. One bullet, that's all it takes, paranoia now. Rips his way through. Hell's not all being cleared! And Kesnit's low enough. It's just a blind spray through. They are somewhat aware, though. Oh, and Finesse hears it all. I mean, this is very good discipline, though. Crew, they must have heard something. Yeah, <laughs> expecting that. And, and well, got two. it's turned just like that. Should be an easy round. Oh, my goodness. The guns! No way! Shorty wins it out. 
and Kesnitz on the flank here. There's no chance of Victor surviving. Yeah. What a bizarre. And no casualties. Damage definitely done though. Oh, this is so weakened. Has to respect it. Has to even respect his own team's damage as well. Fragment nade down to the side, crashes, spamming it and covering fire. Raining bullets. Fiery approach still with that crossfire setup. Davies doesn't really know where to look. Yet still some, he manages it round. Still time now is becoming the problem. And it's no longer winnable. Enough of it's been bought. The crew were able to secure that. So they will get their third on the attack side of Ascent. Straightforward, they recognize that having somewhat of a read, maybe a bit of counter striding, knowing that Melza, beginning of these pistol rounds, was playing alone. And he's cleared out of the sight just like that. 15 seconds into this one, getting into the post plant as the spike is planted. And a setup. Three players together here. Paranoia rips his way through, some still holding close. They're already not in. finding anything. They're already in, already dropped down. But can they find the right avenues to try and approach this one? Triple faced up with the standing. frenzies. Pepper number bullets. Left up to Melza. 1v3. You can find some. The rest of them are, win are weak and potentially winnable, but no, won't be happening. Ground with the weapons. Finally earning those rifles. Oh, nice. Made a good go of it, flash in his face. Now he's starting to feel it, the heat being turned up. Klaus, containment is there. Watching his teammates back, making sure that that angle couldn't really be punished, but a flash over the top. Victor actually blinds himself in the moment. Taking an unusual angle, Kesnet pushing forwards as well. As the fight's taken, the crossfire setup, it was a bonus round for NRG. They've done Again, that work as well, either because of lack of money or what, but Davies doesn't really have much utility to push this back. There's a flash. Yeah, Paranoia. It's going to cleave all the way through into the site. Ah, this makes the most of this one as well, with that space gained. Hunter's Fury It's going a little bit wide, and Victor... Oh, my goodness! This guy, rip and tear, holding down the ground. Two remain for crew to salvage any attempt at a round and the series. No way! No one commands spotting it. Hunter's Fury on top of it. Every ult at their disposal. And I think that speaks volumes. Confidence is boundless. And an RG win it. So damn clean. 13 4 being that scoreline. Well, we said it was a must win game for an RG, and they did. They emphatically defeat Crew.